All right, welcome to the video today where I'm going to teach you how to graph a quadratic written in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, things aren't too crazy when you have y equals ax squared. And they're still not all that crazy when you add the c. But when that b comes along for the ride and you're asked to graph it, things change pretty dramatically. So stick around with me, make sure you watch my pre make sure you watch the previous video because that's going to be very important for you. You might be a little lost with what I'm saying if you haven't already watched my video on how to find the axis of symmetry because that is step number 1 in graphing one of these along with some new things that we have to do as well. So here we go. Buckle up. Let's go. y equals x squared, sorry. x squared minus 6x plus 4. If I'm asked to graph that, all right, I need to first start by finding my axis of symmetry. Nothing can happen until I know where is my middle mark of my parabola. B divided by A, remember axis of symmetry is negative 1 half times B divided by A. So I'm going to take negative 6 divided by there's no number there, but there really is. It's a ghost number. Okay, it's a 1. So negative 6 divided by 1. Negative 6 divided by 1. And then we're going to multiply that by the negative 1 half. This is going to tell me my line of symmetry. It's going to tell me my middle mark of my parabola. So I'm going to say negative divided by positive is a negative. And negative 6 times negative 1 half is going to give me a positive. Negative times a negative makes a positive. We get a positive 3. Okay, step 1. I know my axis of symmetry for my graph is going to be 3 to the right because it's a positive 3. If this number ends up being negative, it means to the left. So right now I've found that because of a negative 6 there and a 1 there, I'm shifting 3 to the right. So I'm just going to draw my graph over here off to the side. I might be blocking it while I'm explaining some things, but just know we're going to be doing the graphing over here. All right, so I'm going to draw my graph out. Let's do one, two, three. I'll try and make it as even as possible for everybody. Okay. Um, let's actually go a little bit bigger with it because I think we're going to need some more space. All right, so now what we're going to be doing is graphing this equation, this quadratic. I've found that my line of symmetry is 3 to the right. So I can now draw a dotted line going directly through 3 on my x-axis. That is telling me, hey, that's where your parabola is going to open up or down from. Next thing I need to do, because I know that the x value is 3 to the right, I can now find my y value by plugging it into the equation. So we now know that x is 3 to the right. x is 3 to the right. So now change the x's. y equals change the x's to 3's. What that's going to do is tell you when x is 3, when we're 3 to the right, where would we be for y? And we just solved this. So here we go. Let's solve it out. 3 squared is 9. Negative 6 times a positive 3 would be a negative 18 plus 4. And remember, that's going to equal my y. 9 minus 18 is negative 9 plus 4. Negative 9 plus 4 gives me negative 5. So when x is 3, y was negative 5. So I'm going to go 3 to the right, negative 5 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have now marked what's called my vertex, my low point to this parabola. How do I find more? Well, one of the things you're going to want to do after that is figure out where is your y-intercept. Figure out where the y-intercept to your parabola is. Y-intercept, we all know, is right here on this axis, the y-axis. Where is this going to open up and cross 
Is it going to cross here? Is it going to cross here? Here, 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 here? We can find that out by plugging in the x value that we want. What is x when we're on this line? It's not one, or it's not two, it's not three, it's not one, it's a zero. When we're on this line, x is zero. So put a zero in here, and this part's usually typically pretty easy, okay? Because when you put a zero in, every, a lot of things just change to zero. Zero squared is zero. Minus six times zero is zero. So all of that is just worth zero. All we have left is plus four. So we're going to mark zero, one, two, three, four. So I now have this dot here and this dot here. So what I have is a part two. Now, I'm not going to, this isn't perfect here yet, but let me just kind of draw very lightly. We're going to have a parabola that looks something like this, right? But I'm going to erase those dots because I need at least one more point to draw a nice U-shaped curvature. All right. What I want to do is make sure to pick one that's on the same side as the y-axis. So if the y-axis is on your left, you need to choose either x is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 1, or 2. Don't choose x is 4. Don't choose x is 5 because the y-axis was on the left side. If we realize that our axis of symmetry is over here, you're going to want to find your y-axis and pick something to the right. But you always choose a value that's on the same side as your, um, excuse me, as your y-intercept. So here we go. I'm gonna, I have, I could choose this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot, or this spot. I'm gonna personally choose something in between these two dots because this is already almost up at the top. I'm gonna say when x is, let's go with one. One's a nice easy number to multiply by and figure things out. So let's just do when x is one and find what y should be. So if I change this to a 1 now, all I'm doing is changing my x, x's to 1's. We're going to get all new values, and we'll get a new y result. So 1 squared minus 6 times 1. 1 squared is 1. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. 1 minus 6 is negative 5 plus 4 gives me a negative 1. So if I went 1 over, if my x value is 1, my y value is negative 1. So I can plot 1, negative 1. So now I have this dot here, this dot here, and this dot here. I can draw the first half to my parabola. It would look like this. Now we know if that's the axis of symmetry, the other side's going to look exactly the same. How do we come up with the other side? It's This is where the reflection property of transformations comes into play. You learned that earlier in the year. If I am one, two spaces away, I can go one, two spaces away on the other side and put a dot. Here, I'm one, two, three spaces away, I can go one, two, three spaces away and put a dot. That means that it is symmetrical and I would have a perfect U-shaped parabola and it would be my exact quadratic to the given equation. So if I want to touch things up, I, I am not a fan of drawing these out. I've said that multiple times in these videos. They don't need to be pretty. Obviously, there's like a little bend of this right here. It does not need to be perfect. Those of you that are um, like me and it get really frustrated because it's not a perfect shape, don't stress yourself out over how they look. The big thing is, do you have the right dot there? Do you have the right dot there, 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 and there? That's really all I'm looking at. Do you have these where they need to be? Does not need to be a perfect U shape. Do your best, obviously, to make it one. But thank you guys for sticking around. Hope you studied hard and good luck on your upcoming test.